Hey there future engineers! Today, we're getting into the exciting world of engineering design. Get ready to unleash your creativity and problem-solving skills as we explore criteria and constraints. First things first, let's break it down. Criteria are like the rules of the game. They're the must-haves for any design project. Constraints, on the other hand, are the challenges or limitations you'll face. Think of them as the obstacles you need to overcome in order to succeed. Imagine you're designing a rocket for a space mission. Your criteria might include payload capacity and fuel efficiency. But guess what? You're also dealing with constraints like budget and time. Let's start with a simple example. Say you're tasked with designing a new backpack for school. Your criteria could be durability, comfort, and storage space. And the constraint? Well, you've got a limited budget to work with. How would you tackle this challenge? Now, let's kick it up a notch. Imagine you're designing a solar-powered car. Your criteria include speed, energy efficiency, and safety. But wait, there's a catch. You need to also consider the environmental impact. Can you design a car that's both fast and eco-friendly? All right, buckle up for our final challenge. Picture this. You're part of a team tasked with designing a sustainable city. Your criteria cover everything, from renewable energy to waste management. And the constraints? Limited space and resources, plus the need to minimize pollution. Can you create a city that's truly green and thriving? And there you have it, budding engineers. Today, you've learned all about criteria and constraints in engineering design. Remember, every great design starts with a clear set of goals and an open mind. So, get ready to dream big, think outside the box, and make the world a better place, one design at a time.